Hi guys, this is a part two from my first vlog on how to prep and pack for a solo vacation trip around Europe. Watch part one and make sure you watch it next. It's quite incredible if I don't say so myself. I go through all my planning, my clothes, everything like that in more detail. In part two, I'm going to be doing a mini glow up. What makeup I'll be packing, finishing off the rest of the packing, toiletries, airport vlog, the whole shazam. So let's get into today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep. Oh my god, that was a really loud bus that just went past me. So excited, it's finally glow up time. I'm gonna be getting my eyebrows and lash is done. Feel before, I've obviously got like stuff on my eyebrows because I just had work, but um, yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I love a little glow up process, like who doesn't? So let's go. <laughs> Guys, this is my finished look of my laminated brows and lash lift. Stunning. I can't believe it. I love it. Thank you so much, Kirstie. They look incredible. I've come home and I've just gotten really, really stressed because I don't know where my wallet is. It's fine. I'll find it. Um, and also, I lied. This is currently the packing state. So I wasn't really done because I forgot about half the washing and the dirty clothes and... So I need to like kind of rejig that. Really need to find my wallet first. So I'm gonna come back when I found it because I'm. I'm also making everyone in my family really anxious, like <laughs> really stressed about it. So, guys, I've got it! Got it! Woo! Found it! Thank fuck. This is how I'm going. I stupidly started packing all my dresses and then forgot that I had dresses out. And then there's a pile here, and I forgot. You know, it's it's fine to pack twice, I guess. At least I'm kind of going through everything and seeing where it all is. I don't know. It is the day before my trip. Today I'm doing some errands, some fun little things. I'm getting my toenails done. I'm not going to show you that process because I hate feet in general. I don't want to get them done, but, like, I'm going to Europe. Like, I'm going to have to get my toes done. Like, I'm going to have to do the hot girl things. I'm going to get white shellac, I've decided. Um, so, love that for me. I'm also going to get some toiletries today. Family's coming over. It's a very jam-packed day. I'm really, really late. I need to go. But, um, I'm going to sit in the nail salon and kind of figure out what toiletries I need. So, I'll put a fun little montage on next of what I get. Um, and yeah, let's get this day cracking. Got my local coffee from Piros, my fave place ever. An amazing Italian local restaurant, so cheers to that. I just made five people extremely jealous when I was in there, so that was kind of fun, and they were hyping me up because I don't feel like I'm going. I feel very stressed, nervous. I sound a bit sick because I'm I'm stressed. I'm going by myself, but I just hyped. They just hyped me up. They were my hype people, and I thoroughly enjoyed that. I had a croissant and got in the mood, so let's go find my toiletries. Got back in the car and realised I forgot lip balm. I've been shopping for toiletries for like two hours now. <sighs> My shopping is all done. Got the I got the lip balm, thank God. This is the lip balm. It's dermal therapy. My friend uses it at work and it, I tried it and it's really, really good. Oh my God. <sighs> Stress. Maybe I should do a TikTok or not. That's pretty fun. Um, I got... I got a little de-stress super shot, berry, um, chamomile, and lavender de-stress. So, it's like the good old days. Let's have a, a super shot to get rid of my stress. Guys, cheers to me going to Europe by myself and finally doing the damn thing. That was very, very nice. A calm de-stress shot, love. Two hours later, <laughs> $200 later. I've got everything I need, I think. Toiletries aren't cheap, especially when you're a girl. Oh, I forgot period stuff. 
Nah, I'll skip it. It's fine. Oh my god. Yikes. I've just done a TikTok of all of my little travel essentials. My TikTok name is Molly Smell one if you want to go follow it. I'm trying to be more active on there. It's a bit hard, but I bought one of these headbands and I don't know if it like looks good or not. It's, I don't know if it makes my forehead look bigger than it already is. Like it's kind of humbling me a little bit. So anyway, I'm going to sort through this and see if I can fit it. Some of it is going to go into like, I forgot to show you this um, wash when I was there. These sort of things are going to go just in my everyday carry-on, I'd assume. Bought some extras of these. Might take them on the plane. Um, what else? Oh, face masks. So I'm kind of just going to sift through it and then check back in later. Elfie, are you ready? Are you ready for my Amazon haul? I'm gonna be running through everything I got from Amazon. Um, sorry I kept it till part two. I just thought, might as well keep it a mystery. Got a big fat box to go through. A lot of this stuff I actually found off a YouTube video. I'll link the original video up on the screen now. It's really, really good, I would recommend. You can put your notes and coins and everything pretty much in here and it's gonna be secure and safe. So that was a win for me. Next up, I got this gray uh, travel pillow. <laughs> Oh, you like the pillow, don't you? The thing that sold me about this travel pillow was it's got a wire in it, so you can kind of fold it like this if you wanted to, or the front, or whichever way you want to bend it, you can. And it's got a little clip here, and I just thought that it was honestly not an ugly patterned neck pillow like I've previously had, so a simple grey travel one was an essential for me. Next up, I got... <laughs> this is a bit silly. Best seller off Amazon, actually. These are the Hydration Multiplier and they are pretty much like a Barocca, but they're passion fruit flavor and I'm hoping they taste a lot better than Barocca and Hydrolyte, to be honest. Next up, I got this travel box, which you guys saw from my part one of the Prep and Pack With Me. I love it. It's got so many different components in it and I can actually like stab my jewelry in there a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, this one is Alfie approved as well. We love it. And I can fit so many accessories in here, which is honestly, it's just a plus. I got a hard case traveler for my hard drive and all of my other like SD cards and stuff. It's got all the different components in here as well. And it's just easy to put in my carry on so I know where all my chargers and my hard drive and stuff is. I'm not like looking throughout my whole bag. Next, I got this. It is a little uh, pink, cute little bag. Got a room door lock. I'm going to be uh, traveling by myself. I don't know if I'm going to be staying in rooms by myself. So just to have like that extra security. I don't even know if I'm going to be using it, but I thought, you know what? Safety first, ladies. Safety first. This, I got a silk mask because I do not want bad skin when I'm traveling, okay? I'm going to be on a plane for like 24 hours and this is a really cute silk one. Love. With this one, it's actually got little adjustable um, straps around your ears because I struggled a lot in lockdown having masks that were too big for my face and just wouldn't fit properly, so... Love her. I also got a SD card for my little travels because I'm going to be filming a lot and taking a lot of photos and I don't want to run out of storage. You get the gist. I didn't actually buy this off Amazon, but I thought it was something worth showing. It is a little travel mirror brush and I can just put it in my bag and quickly... Wow, the brush is actually really good. Brush my hair. If I'm feeling my hair's a bit frazzled. And then it just fits in my bag. Okay, my lucky last item from my Amazon haul. This one's got to be one of my favorites. And I think the thing that I was most excited to get, it's a travel mirror. Guys, I know this is a bit ridiculous, but I don't care. It folds like this. So you open it and it folds up. Love it. And you can stand it like this. It Guys, look at the light. This is the first time I've used it. And you can do like a warmer setting as well. That's so fun. And then if I wanted to, I can stand it up like this and do my makeup. How good is that? Obsessed. Everything I bought from Amazon will be linked down below. And I'll also link the original video because she had a lot of other different things that I think were worth getting. But yeah, 
Go off Amazon, go off. My sister is way cooler than I am and she got me a crumpler bag. She's like really cool with, with all the trends. I'm not. I've got two bags to go through. This is the crumpler bag. Um, I don't know what style it is. I'll have to like link it, but so cool. This is gonna be my handbag. So I'm assuming I can take my backpack and this. So this is the size of it. It's got so many different departments. The front, the back zip, and then you kind of like wear it over the shoulder, like apparently like at the back. And I don't know, my sister was telling me how to wear it. The mints. These are like little stress relievers, like natural belliums. And I had one yesterday and last night when I couldn't sleep and it was chef's kiss. So that's really good. My phones and a little camera and I'll put like my camera in there. Got this backpack from Kmart and it's really good. It's 30 bucks. Three different pockets and on the side it's got a bit where you can plug your um, portable charger. So you can like have your phone out charging while it's in the bag genius in here i've got like my pill everything i can kind of take on the plane with me um like hand sanitizer tissues that sort of stuff that i can take down if i need to, like mouthwash all that jazz not going to go through that whole thing all my charges and stuff in here my laptop mum said i didn't need to take it but it's my trip so i'm taking it if you struggle to sleep like me i bought these earplugs they are called loop earplugs and they a noise cancellation and I could not be more grateful that I purchased these before my trip. A little journal. This a while ago from um, JB Hi5. It's like a phone protector. And if we're going to go swimming or like, I don't know, just wanted to buy it. My sleeping mask, I'll probably put that in the other bag, the crumpler. Like all my drugs and stuff here, like cold and flu. My contacts, melatonin, a must, tonsillitis stuff, all that fun things. A big fat mess on my floor. I need to like rearrange it and put it all in the right bag, but that's what I'm taking. And those travel bags are really essential in my opinion. And the crumpler is like iconic. Thank you so much, Mia, for being like cool and trendy. I've got this new NARS palette, so I'm thinking of doing like. A bit of a brown moment, just a wee little bit, you know what I mean? I'm so happy I did my makeup brushes, like look at them all clean, stunning and ready to go. Let's see these shades off. We just weighed my suitcase. It was 21. <sighs> Packing genius I am, thanks to mum also. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it when I'm by myself. Like, shoving all that in is... That's future issue. Um, I've just done some more makeup. I'm about to go have some brekkie, so I'm just in my lovely pyjamas for the last time. And... It's, it's about to happen. Okay, this is the airport fit. Black little top from Cotton On, Kmart jumper, 10 bucks, oversized, Converse and my leggings. I've gone for an all black moment, just doing what I'm told, you know, my gal Lauren Geraldo was all black to the airport and I was like, you know what, she's so right, do you feel like a boss? Yeah, alright, Um, we're going to go to the airport now, ew, I can't believe I'm saying that, I'm starting to feel really, really stressed now. Something about travelling to the airport and getting to the airport just hits different. It's when the holiday really starts to sink in. I love the thought of like going to get a coffee, getting some food, a little champagne, a cocktail if you will. And I love just going there and seeing all the different types of people and just wondering what they're doing. Like where are they going? Are they visiting family, friends? Are they going for a holiday? Are they by themselves? Like wholesome experience I feel. One of the things I'm really proud of also is like I'm doing this trip solely for me. I don't have to think about anyone else. I'm doing it for me and seeing the growth when I get back is going to be really exciting and kind of take away hopefully the self-doubt and um, have more independence and trust in myself. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what it will be like when I get back as well. It's happening, it's happening. 